Hey folks, it's me again, Paul Foster at your service. Now I hope you had a good time accompanying me on my journey during the first series of Lamia Mia Recipe. This is wow. how it's done. Of course, we had my dear mother guiding us along the way. Oh, I'm not in it. And cooking oh. some of her iconic dishes to localize lamb with a twist. Wow, that works. It, it works. I did not expect that. Yeah. But I think we made our point. Lamb dishes can be, if not, are more delicious than anything else. But now it's time we raise the stakes. Don't get me wrong, I love my mom and she's a fantastic cook. But why not talk to some of the best chefs Singapore has to offer and find out what their favorite lamb dishes are. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lamb Me Your Recipe Chef Special. Located in the heart of Singapore's Chinatown, Burnt Ends is a modern Australian barbecue joint that passionately believes in cooking with wood. And it worked. It earned its first Michelin star in 2019 under the tutelage of Chef Dave Pint. And it's his passion of cooking with fire that's fired Burnt Ends into one of the most exciting restaurants in Asia. If you enjoy eating what you do, if you don't enjoy eating what you do, then you probably shouldn't be cooking it. So basically, I uh, started washing dishes in City Beach while I was still at school, and then I left school, didn't want to go to university, so I took up uh, pizza making at the place where I was working, in a wood-fired oven, and then that progressed to an apprenticeship. And then I went over to Sydney, worked at Tetsuya's for a couple of years, and then ended up travelling overseas to Copenhagen, Spain and London before landing on the shores of Singapore. Uh, lamb's one of those super tasty products that I think as an Australian you grow up eating since a young kid. So the flavour is very ingrained into the way we are and it's just delicious. I think uh, one of the great things about buying Australian product, I've grown up with it. I understand the flavours and the other beautiful thing about using Australian product is there's a huge array of high quality, well looked after product. So the dish we cook today is a, a buttermilk brined uh, lamb gyro. And so basically we get a lamb shoulder, we brine it in a buttermilk solution for two days. Then we pull it out, dry it, and then oven roast it for about two and a half, three hours. We shred it, mix it with a bit of the jus, lamb jus that we make from the bones. And then we reheat that to order for the gyro. Uh, the other components of Jiro are the duck fat pitta. So we take uh, fat from uh, duck that we've rendered down and we, make, we proceed to make a pitta from that. Uh, and then the other major components are the salad, which is uh, butterhead, mint, parsley, radishes, shallots, tomatoes and black olives, and a lemon chilli vinaigrette. And then we make a garlic sauce, which is uh, basically just garlic, lemon juice, water and olive oil and we emulsify that and that becomes your, your garlic sauce. And then we've got a za'atar spice mix which is your white and black sesame seeds, coriander, cumin seeds, black pepper, orange peel, salt and sugar and that goes on top. Then roll it up, wrap it and smash it. I'm quite excited about this next dish. I wasn't expecting a gyro sent from burnt ends. But Chef Dave is an awesome chef and I trust him. If he sent me this, it's going to be good. So to show you guys, I'm going to just cut it in half. Straight through the wrapper. And you can see there, it's like a kebab, a pita roll with this wonderful lamb shoulder there. 
And this lamb shoulder has been in a brine, a buttermilk brine for two days. So I'm quite excited because I, anything buttermilk is good. Good thing for me is I have a big mouth and I'm going to try and get a level bite so that I can get everything at one shot. <laughs> All right, let's go. Super fulfilling. Every bite I take, every chew I make, there's another explosion of flavors coming through from the pita to the vegetables to the lamb. And then the lamb in a particular dish like this matches very well. I think this is the go-to meat for, for something like this. Excellent. In an earlier episode, we explored Mexican cuisine with Chef Jason Jones at Super Loco. This time, we take a look at Chico Loco, its sister restaurant under the Loco group. But we have Chef Randy Torres up front and center. And maybe this American chef will bring something different to the table for his rendition of a Mexican lamb dish. Well, my journey uh, into culinary world is kind of interesting. I was going to uh, university at Austin, and my university is very big. So I had this really bright idea of working at a pizza place that was right next to the building I was going to school, so I get a closer parking spot. So I worked for that pizza place for about four years, uh, and I really just fell in love with the, the people. Uh, I fell in love with the job. I learned uh, quite a lot because I helped them open up several other pizza stores. So I went to culinary school uh, after that and kind of changed my career and I just fell in love with the F&B industry. Hello, I'm Chef Randy. Uh, I'm originally from Austin, Texas, but I've been in Singapore for the last 10 years. So growing up, we used lamb quite a lot. Uh, we would use it as, as pulled lamb in, in several different dishes, uh, as well as roasted lamb. Uh, it's also really nice. And the, thing, the good thing about lamb is that it's very versatile. So you can use it uh, several different ways in several different dishes. So we buy Australian lamb because it's a very good quality lamb. Uh, it's also very versatile. The flavor is very consistent and it's delicious. I mean, it, it, I think it's one of the better lambs that we can get here in Singapore. So the dish that I chose today was our uh, signature rotisserie lamb dish. Um, I chose it because uh, one of our signature dishes and we only do uh, two meats here at Chico Loco. We don't do any pork. Uh, we just do rotisserie chicken and rotisserie lamb. Um, I really love the taste. Uh, a lot of uh, technique goes into it. So that way it's one of the best uh, lambs and one of the un most unique lambs that you can find in Singapore. Um, it's got a really nice Mexican marinade that you can't get anywhere else uh, because we sous vide it and then we also do it in the rotisserie. It's, it, the flavor is just infused and, and really special. Achiote is a traditional Mexican spice. It's a concentration of, of several different ingredients uh, compacted into a paste. It's very difficult to find in Singapore. It's, it's pretty common in, in, in Mexico. It's easy to find there, but very few people bring it here and, and, and we use it both a lamb dish and also our chicken dish. Okay, we're going back to Mexican cuisine with this dish. This is the achiote roast lamb. And in fact, it was lovingly prepared by my friend, Chef Randy. He has a lot of experience cooking meats like this. It's something that has a lot of prep to a certain extent, but in fact, the cooking time was very quick from what I've learned. And uh, the achiote is actually something that's obviously Mexican. A lot of uh, paprika in there, and it's supposed to be a very nice spice marinade that goes over uh, your meat. And in this case, a nice lamb. Once again, achiote lamb roast from uh, Chico Loco. Mm. Again, lamb. 
has a very distinct taste and flavor. And I find that there are certain other flavors that can help to either escalate or help to absorb that lamb flavor. And in this case, I get a very curry, almost a curry-like taste. Okay, so I'm gonna try some of this with the achiote sauce here, just to get a little bit more of that flavor. Color looks amazing. Uh -huh. It's spicy, but again, not overwhelmingly spicy. It gives you a big hit at the front, and then kind of plateaus and evens out. Very peppery, of course, because of the paprika. Um, if anything, it's got a, an earthy, heavy texture and feel to it. A, a bit of sweetness in there as well, so a bit of tanginess. But um, the lamb is definitely much better with the sauce. So I would highly recommend eating it with the sauce. Again, if, if you love a little bit of kick and spice, it's perfect. It is a wrap. Thank you for joining me on my second journey with Lamb Mia recipe. Thank you to Chef Randy from Chico Loco and Chef Dave from Burnt Ends for feeding me in this final episode. But of course, big love must be given to our other six chefs for feeding me from Ep 1 to Ep 3. And for those of you who stayed tuned, I appreciate your attendance. And if you haven't really been introducing lamb into your diet, Hey, I've just given you eight restaurants to help you out there. So go on, give it a try because you won't regret it. Thank you so much, guys. This has been Lamb Mia Recipe, Chef Special, over and out. Now, for those of you who haven't quite had enough lamb in your menu, I'm sorry, in your diet, I should say. Yeah. It's hot. <laughs> All good, Mmm, delicious lamb. Mmm, we love you. All right, guys, I'm quite excited about this next dish because I wasn't expecting a gyro. <laughs> gonna massage the lamb. Yes, nice lamb. Thank you so much. We love you. I'm quite excited about this next dish. I'm quite excited about this next dish. I would never have expected a uh, gyro from... Giro, giro. 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 Giro.